Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa mga mga awit. Salamat po sa awit po na kanila pong kinanta. Magandang gabi po sa bawat isa. Kayo po ba nakahanda na sa pakikinig ngayong gabi? Say Amen. amen. Okay. At uh, bago po ako magumpisa, you know, <laughs> meron po akong gustong ikwento sa inyo. Merong uh, isang bagong katatalagang pare. He was being briefed by the housekeeper on problems in the personage that required immediate attention. May mga ayusin na dun sa bahay na kanyang titirhan at yung babaeng housekeeper ay ina-orient siya, binibrief siya dun sa mga kailangan ng ayusin. At uh, sabi nung uh, babae, Padre, your roof needs repair. Yung bubong niyo po, kailangan ng ayusin. Your toilet is bad and your furnace is not working. Barado po yung banyo niyo. Pati po yung lutuan po ninyo. Napansin ng pare na sinasabi ng babae na puro ninyo. Sabi ng pare, Mrs. Inday, you've been the housekeeper here for five years. Ang tagal mo na dito. And I've been here only for a few days. Bakit hindi mo na lang sabihin, bubong natin, lutuan natin, Mrs. Inday? Let us share these things, the priest added. Several weeks later, when the priest was meeting with the bishop and several other high church officials, Mrs. Indai burst into the office terli- terribly upset. She shouted, Padre, Padre! Meron pong ipis sa banyo natin. Pumasok sa kwarto natin. Ngayon po nasa ilalim na ng kama natin. All the men in the room were speechless. <laughs> Biro lang po. Okay, let's open our Bibles on John chapter number 3. John chapter number 3. We will begin uh, reading on the last verses of chapter 2, and that is verse 23, down to chapter number 3, verse number 7. The Bible says, Andiyan na po kayo? Amen. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name, When they saw the miracles which he did, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of men, for he knew what was in man. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, We know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. I want to preach a sermon entitled, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Amen? Tayo po ay pumikit at manalangin. Dakilang Diyos, maraming salamat po sa gabing ito. Pagpalain niyo po ang napakahalagang mga oras na ito na pakikinig namin ng iyong mga salita. Pagpalain ng bawat isang makikinig Panginoon ng inyong pong karunungan. Lalo tigit, kaligtasan sa mga hindi pa nagkakaroon ng relasyon sa inyo. Panginoon, sa aming mga ligtas na pagsasariwa, Panginoon, sa aming kaligtasan na natamo mula sa iyo. Maraming maraming salamat po. Patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala at dalangin po namin, O Diyos, Ikaw po ang may taas sa mensaheng ito. Ito po ay aming samasamang dalangin sa pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Amen. I want to share three things about uh, the word born again. Number one is the misconceptions about born again. Number two, the true meaning of being born again. And number three, the means or the ways or the way, ang paraan 
to be born again. Nakahanda na po ba? Misconceptions about born again. The word born again, aside from the word repentance, is the most or one of the most misunderstood Bible word. Ang daming tao, ito ang tingin sa word na born again. Yung iba, yung ibang mga tao, ganito ang pagkaunawa. Mga kapatid, uh, maraming mga tao, pag tinanong mo sila, ano ba yung born again? Uh, ganito yan, ganito yan. So, when dealing with the true meaning of this subject, it is effective to refute the misconceptions about it. Kailangan sabihin natin yung mga hindi tamang pananaw or yung pagkakaunawa sa salitang ito. Dito, mga kapatid, sa uh, ating pong binasang mga talata, si Nicodemo isang paraseyo. Most of us know that being a Pharisee, being a member of the sect of the Pharisee, ay uh, magiging kilala ka sa iyong uh, komunidad. So pagkat uh, bibihira ang mga taong ganito, they hold the, uh, they are one of the men who hold the strictest uh, position pagdating sa tradition of the elders. Pagdating sa tradition, yung mga conduct, behavior, mga kapatid, and Nicodemus, being uh, one of those, ay pumunta kay Jesus nung gabing iyon. Mga kapatid, alam niyo ba kahit na maraming mga misconception ang mga tao, let me uh, add this, let me just butt in. Sinabi ng verse 24, nung ang Panginoong Sokristo nandito sa Jerusalem, yung uh, mga tao ay naniwala sa kanyang pangalan dahil, dahil sa milagrong kanyang ginawa. Alam natin, gumawa siya ng himala. Yung tubig, ginawa niya? Ginawa niya? Wine, mga kapatid. Naniwala ang mga tao sa kanyang pangalan dahil dito sa milagrong ito. Pero sabi ng verse number 24, But Jesus did not commit Himself unto them because He knew all men. Alam niya ang mga ta- uh, alam niya ang, ang, uh, uh, sa saloobin ng mga tao. And needed not that any should testify of men for He knew what was in men. Alam niya kung ano yung nasa loob ng tao. Ngayon si Nicodemus, being a Pharisee, kilala niya si Nicodemus. Amen po ba? Hindi niya nakailangan alamin pa kung ano yung katayuan meron si Nicodemus. Anong mga nagawa ni Nicodemus? Nung lumapit siya kay Jesus nung gabing yon, syempre nagbigay ng pagkalang si Nicodemus. Maaring malapit na siya sa kanyang salvation uh, moment. Rabbi, guru, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these things that thou doest, these um, uh, miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Sabi agad ng Panginoong Sokristo, even though he is a Pharisee, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Being a Pharisee will not give you the new birth, will not give you a guarantee that you will be saved, mga kapatid. Being a member of a religious sect, mga kapatid, hindi po yan ang ibig sabihin ng born again. Nakakalungkot ang katotohanan na ito, mga kapatid. Maraming mga taong nagsasabi, inaangkin sa kanilang mga sarili na sila ay born again, ngunit hindi lubos ang nauunawaan ang salitang ito. Number one, born again, para sa iba, ito ay relihiyon. Pagka, pagka nasa eskwelahan ka, young people, pagka sinabi mo na ikaw ay uh, uh, Baptist, ano ba yun? Parehas ba yun ng born again? Kayo ba ay born again din? Yung religion na born again? Okay? Anong religion mo? Born again ka rin ba? Pangalawa, born again is a church. Anong church nyo? Ay, doon kami sa born again. Di ba? Born again church. Born again Christian fellowship. Pangatlo, tingin la. Yung mga taong born again, born again people are those who are members of a born again church. Mga kapatid, yun ang pagkakaunawa nila. Kapag doon ka nagsisimba, ay hindi Catholic yun, ay hindi Muslim yun, ay hindi, hindi, uh, uh, hindi yun iglesia. At parang meron kayong ganito, parang iba kayo. Ano ba yun? Born again? Born again ka na rin ba? Kasi doon ka na rin nag-aatin sa born again na yun? Isa pang misconception, born again people sa tingin ng iba, are those who are baptized by immersion. Ay, nagpa-bautismo ka na! Ano ba yan? Born again ka na rin ba? Iba yung bautismo mo. Kasi, kasi, kasi sa amin, pag sanggol pa lang, ano yan, binubuhusan yan sa bunbunan o kaya winiwisikan. Yun ang bautismo. Dahil parang nil- nilupog ka na rin ba? Ay, born again mga gumagawa niyan eh. Born again ka na rin? 
mga kapatid, many misconceptions about the word born again. Hindi lang naman yung mga yun ang gumagawa ng ganong baptism. Amen po ba? Pero nakakalungkot din mga kapatid, let me warn ourselves nang hindi tayo mahulog sa kasalanan ng pagiging mapagpaimbabaw. But even amongst our circles, amongst our Baptist churches, amongst our members, there are also people who are like this. Nakaupo sila dyan sa mga upuan, sitting under the preaching, umaaten every Sunday, every, uh, every Sunday morning, yun ang pinaka-maximum na nagagawa nila. And they will say, oh, uh, sa tingin ko born again na rin ako. Kasi umaaten ako dito sa church. Kasi member ako ng Baptist church. They think they will be saved by being a member of our church. By doing good works without the Holy Spirit. Pero, pero let me tell you this, mga kapatid. The Bible says, the Lord Jesus Christ said, Except a man be born again, he cannot enter. He cannot see the kingdom of God. He must be born again. Number two, mga kapatid. Ano ba ang totoong ibig sabihin ng being born again? Now, mga kapatid, dito, makita natin yung word na born again sa tatlong beses, sa tatlong beses na banggit sa New Testament. Yung phrase, yung uh, these two words, uh, born again, dalawang beses ito na banggit sa book of John. And it's on chapter number three. Isang beses lang sa book of Peter, mga kapatid. Kaya napakahalaga nito, uh, nitong uh, chapter number three when we talk about being born again. Now, we see that the word born again is not a place, It's not a church. It's not someone na, na uh, nakalagay dito, born again na member siya. But born again is an event. Not a place, not a thing, but is an event to be experienced. Ye must be born again. Born means pinanganak again. Muli, ipinanganak muli. Hindi to church, hindi church ang kapanganakan. Amen po ba? Pangyayari sa isang tao ang kapanganakan. No ikaw pinanganak, nangyari sa mundong ito ang history sa iyong buhay na isinilang ang isang uh, uh, Verlois Ojao, Joshua Crosilio, uh, Verlio na Ojao. Sinilang yung mga ganyan nung nung birthday ninyo. Kaganapan po ito, mga kapatid. Kaya ang pagiging, uh, uh, or um, sorry, ang born again ay isang kaganapan sa buhay ng isang tao. Kaya hindi ibig sabihin, ikaw ay nabautismo, na born again ka na. Ikaw ay nakati ng isang church na hindi Catholic, na hindi Muslim, na uh, tawag sa kanila parang born again church, born again ka na. Hindi yun yung kaganapan na tinutukoy ng Bible. The Bible says, kailangan ang born again ay magkaroon ng kapanganakan. Kailangan mong maipanganak ulit. Tanong ni Nicodemo, paano ang isang lalaki, ang isang tao, ay mapapanganak muli ngayong siya'y matanda na? Siya'y malaki na? Kapanganakan muli. Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now, we can see here two kinds of birth. Born of water and born of the Spirit. The word born of water, inuunahan ko na kayo, this does not mean baptism, water baptism, baptism by immersion. Being born of water means being born In the flesh. Being born in the flesh. The context tells it. Sabi ng verse number 6, That which is born of flesh is flesh. Mga kapatid, naalala ko nung ipinako ang Panginoong Sokristo, siya'y namatay. Ngayon sisiguraduhin nung isang sundalo, napatay na ang Panginoong Sokristo. Anong ginawa niya? Kumuha siya ng isang sibat? Mahabang sibat, syempre. Tinusok niya sa tagiliran ng Panginoong Sokristo. Sabi ng Bible, Therewith came uh, came out blood and water. Blood and water. Ang ibig sabihin ba nito, literal na tubig, umagos sa tagiliran ng Panginoong Sokristo? Dugo at tubig? Hindi po. The word water there also means flesh. Flesh. Ibig sabihin nung tinusok ang Panginoong Sokristo, lumabas po yung dugo at ilang mga laman. 
Laman, mga kapatid. That which is born of flesh is flesh. Ang tinutukoy dito ng Panginoong Sokristo, yung kapanganakan natin sa pisikal. Kapanganakan natin sa pisikal. Kung ikaw ay pinanganak na at ngayon nakikinig, pinanganak ka na sa physical, pero hindi sapat yon for you to enter the kingdom of God, for you to enter God's kingdom, for you to see heaven. Sabi ng Bible, ye must be born again. That which is born of water is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is a spirit. Ye must be born in the spirit. That is what the word born again means. Kailangan mong maipanganak uli. Not in the physical aspect of our lives, but in the spiritual sense. Kailangan maipanganak ang iyong spirito. Why? Why uh, born again is necessary or very essential for us to be saved, for us to enter the kingdom of God? Alam natin, we're all dead. Sabi ng Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, And you had he weakened, Dead in trespasses and sins. Patay tayo sa ating mga kasalanan. Dahil sa kasalanan ng sabi ng Bible, tayo ay namatay. Nag-umpisa yan doon sa hardin. Wow. Doon sa hardin. Ang kasalanan nag-umpisa sa hardin. Kaya tayong mga nag-garden, ingat-ingat lang. Okay? Ingat-ingat. Ngayong lockdown, nag-busy-busy tayo sa garden eh. Diyan nag-umpisa yan. Hindi, hindi dyan literal sa garden natin. Pero doon sa hardin. Amen po ba? Mga kapatid, sinabi ng Panginoon, Adan, pwede niyong kainin lahat ng prutas. Lahat ng pwede niyong kainin, kainin ninyo. Huwag lang yung isang puno, huwag lang yung bunga na yon na nasa gitna ng hardin. Kundi kayo ay mamamatay. Sa madaling sabi, mga kapatid, to make the long story short, kinain ito ng babae, binigay sa kanyang asawa, at sila nagkasala. Namatay ba sila physically? No. But they die. They die spiritually. That's why our spirit should be born again. Be born what? Born again. We must be, you must be born again. Last but not the least, the means or the way, ang paraan to be born again. On John chapter number 1, sabi ng Bible, ang Panginoong Sokristo ang tinutukoy sa buong chapter 1. Amen po ba? Sabi ng Bible sa verse number 12, But as many as received Him, to them gave Him power, authority, or right to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name, which were born, which were born not of blood, nor, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. But of God, we must be born again. We must be born in the Spirit. We must be born of God. Sabi ng Bible, but as many as receive Him, the Lord Jesus Christ, He was the Word. The Word was with God. The same was in the beginning with God, and the Word was God. Amen? Sabi ng Bible, the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him, in the Lord Jesus was life. And that life was the light of man. He was in the world and the world was made by Him. See? Ang Panginoong Sokristo ang lumika ng nakikita natin. And the world knew Him not. He came unto His own. And His own received Him not. The Israelites, the Jews did not believe on Him during His time. But as many as received Him, to them gave Him power to become the sons of God. You must be born again. But how? You must receive the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. But as many as received Him, to them gave Him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Might be saved. Mga kapatid, do you know that the word born again on John chapter 3, when you look it on your Strong's Concordance, 
The word born again, yung again, ang ibig sabihin ni strong, ang binigay na definition ni ginaong strong doon sa word na again. Ang ibig sabihin ng again sa Greek is literally from above. From above. That is the word again in the Greek. From above. So the word born again does not also, uh, doesn't only mean born again na may panganak sa spirito. It literally means born from above. Born from above. Mga kapatid, I cannot illustrate this better than by supposing a case. Let's say mga kapatid, na sa Manila, let's say sa Manila, merong ipinasang batas dito sa bansa natin sa Pilipinas. Just to illustrate how to be born again or the necessity of being born again. So Manila, may pinasang batas na uh, in ambition to the Malacanang Palace or an end holding the position of a cabinet secretary, privilege, having the privilege of meeting the president. Let's say, merong isang batas na para magkaroon ka nitong mga privilege na ito, you must be born here in the Philippines. Let's say, uh, sabihin lang natin na ganun. Amen? Ngayon mga kapatid, those privileges will only be given to persons who were born in the, in the Philippines. We will suppose then that some man, a Chinese man, let's say a Chinese man, meron Chinese, for instance, should come to this country and should endeavor to obtain the privileges of citizenship well knowing that the rule is absolute and cannot be altered that a man must be a born subject or else he cannot enjoy them. Suppose he says, I will change my name. I will take up the name of a Filipino. Sabi nung Inchik. Sabi nung Inchik, babaguhin ko yung pangalan ko. Gagawin kong yung pangalan kong Christian de la Cruz. Katunog na Christian de la Cruz. Parang Juan de la Cruz, di ba? Pilipinong Pilipino. Christian de la Cruz. Ngayon, itong si Chinese man named, uh, now named uh, Christian de la Cruz, pumunta ngayon sa Malacanang. Nakita niya ngayon, nakasarado yung gate. Pwede lang po pumasok dito ay kahit na sino ipinanganak dito sa bansang Pilipinas. You will have the privilege of meeting our president. Kung pasado po kayo sa criteria, pwede rin po kayong mag-hold ng isang uh, office, maaring uh, uh, mataas or kadamdamang opisina. Or ma-enjoy nyo po ang ganda ng Malacanang. If and only if, kayo po ay pinanganak dito sa Pilipinas. Ngayon tinanong si, si Christian de la Cruz, Are you born here in the Philippines? Sabi ni Christian de la Cruz, No, I was born in China. Pero ang pangalan ko na ay Christian de la Cruz. Does that sound like I am a Filipino? Sabi ng guard, Sir, with all due respect, you cannot enter the palace. You cannot enter Malacanang. You must be born here in the Philippines. That illustration applies to those people na tinatawag ang sarili nilang mga Christian but not Christian in their hearts. Mga kapatid, they have, they, they have this uh, connotation. Uy, nagsisimba si ganito. Every Sunday, nandun siya doon sa Baptist Church. Nandun siya sa Blessed Christian. Nandun siya sa, sa Baptist Church doon sa Cavite. Well, mga kapatid, That does not make you being born again. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Maring magsabi yung iba, Brother Mark, napakasama naman nung bagay na yun. Well, hindi po ako ang nagsabi nun. Hindi po tayo ang nagsabi nun. Ang Panginoong Sokristo ang nagsabi nun. Amen po ba? Let's say merong isang uh, Lalamove agent, merong isang delivery boy ng LBC na nagdala ng mensahe sa iyo. Hindi mo nagustuhan yung mensahe na galit ka ngayon sa delivery boy. Mga kapatid, wala tayong karapatan magalit doon sa delivery boy. At maling magalit doon sa delivery boy. Amen po ba? Dahil hindi galing sa kanya yung mensahe na yon. Siya lang ay tagapagdala. Amen? Mga kapatid, except a man be born again, he cannot see, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Let's say si Chinese man named Christian de la Cruz Sinabi niya, okay, I will attempt a second time. Siguro nahalata nila yung... Nahalata, siguro nila yung pagtatalita. Oh. 
Ngayon, mga kapatid, binago ni Chinese man, uh, no offense, no offense for those who are Chinese, uh, binago ni Chinese man ang kanyang language, ang kanyang way of speaking. Diba? Sabi nung uh, Chinese, Shishini, Nihao, siguro naging, na, uh, naging salamat po, kamusta po kayo, nagkaroon na siya ng mga ganong mga salita. Mga kapatid, pumunta ulit siya doon sa Malacanang, nakita niya sarado ang gate. Tinanong siya ng guard, Sir, pwede lang pumasok dito, ay ang pinanganak dito sa Pilipinas. Are you born here in the Philippines? Sabi ng Chinese man, No sir, I'm not. But, hindi mo ba napansin? I speak like a Filipino. I talk like a Filipino. My sound is like a Filipino. Hindi mo nga halata na Chinese ako eh. Yes sir, sabi ng guard. Pero, na mak- the, the privilege na makapasok po dito will only be given to those who are born here in the Philippines. This applies, mga kapatid, to those people who talk like they're Christians. They know to talk the talk. They know our faith. Uh, perhaps, they quote scriptures, mga kapatid. But unless they are born again, they cannot enter. You cannot enter the kingdom of God. Maaring nagdadala ka ng Bible, you sing the hymns, you sing with us, you sing praises of praises for God. But unless you're born again, except you're born again, you cannot enter into God's kingdom. Let's say this Chinese man, binago niya yung kanyang damit. Halata siguro, nagmero pa rin siyang uh, yung kanyang barong, ay Chinese collar. Ginawa niya ng barong Tagalog ang kanyang collar. Let's say, nabago na ang kanyang pananamit. Yung kanyang sombrero, hindi na rin pang Chinese. He now dresses like a, like a Filipino. And his name is Christian de la Cruz. And then approaches the gate of Malacanang and asks, Can I enter now? Nagpalit na ako ng pangalan. My name is now Christian de la Cruz. That's a Filipino name. Nag-aral na rin ako ng lengguahe ng mga Filipino. And I speak like a Filipino. Nalaman niyang bisaya yung guard. Oy, maayong buntag guard. Maayong buntag sa imo. Tapos nakita niya, Sir, I, I not dress like a Filipino. Hindi na ako mapagkakamalan na Chinese ako. Hindi ako mapagkakamalan foreigner nga ako eh. Sabi ng guard, Sir, are you born here in the Philippines? Sabi ng Chinese man, No, sir. Well, I'm sorry, sir. You are not allowed to enter in. This applies to those people who dresses like us, who have the manners, who have the, uh, who have the fashion. They walk the walk. They know what we do. Maaring sila'y nagsusol winning din. Maaring sila yung pinaka uh, magaling na song leader sa church. Maaring sila yung magaling na manunugtog sa church. Maaring sila yung lumaki sa church. They dress like a Christian. They talk like Christians. They speak like Christians. The way their manner of lives are being Christianized. But unless, let me tell you this, except ye be born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. As I close, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, hindi po mahirap unawain ang word na born again. Hindi rin po mahirap maging isang born again na tao. Magkaroon ng kaganapan na may panganak tayong muli. Ang sabi ng Bible, may papanganak tayong muli sa ating spirito. If we will receive the Savior, if we will believe on His name, for there is no other name. Acts chapter 4 verse 12, walang ibang pangalan sa ilalim ng silong ng langit na ipinagkaloob sa mga tao upang sa kanila ikaliligtas kundi ang pangalan ng Panginoong Sokristo. Amen? The Bible says that, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. Amen po ba? Sinabi ni Peter, repent. Sinabi ni Paul, repent. Sabi ng Diyos, He commanded all men everywhere to repent and receive the Lord and Savior. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. But as many as receive Him, to them give He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name, which were born not of blood, 
nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. You need to be born of God. Mga kapatid, if you are not born again, I'm telling you, whatever your religion is, even though you're the most conservative, you're the most fundamental Baptist sa, sa mundong ito, unless you're born again, except you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. At tayo po ay manalangin. Panginoong Diyos, maraming salamat po sa paksa pong ito na amin pong napag-aralan. Lord, napaka ganda pong salita. Born again. Sa mga oras na ito, napag-aralan po namin, naunawaan po namin, and thank you Lord for the knowledge and wisdom you have given each and every one of us. Thank you Lord. In Jesus' name. Habang tayo po ay naririto sa mga oras na ito, mga kaibigan naming nakikinig, maaaring sa tingin mo, ligtas ka na. Maaaring sa tingin mo, or maaaring akala mo, meron ka ng relasyon sa Diyos. But there is something missing. At alam mo yun, kaibigan. Para bang may kulang. At yung kulang na yun ay napakalaki na kapag hindi napunuan, hindi mo may experience ang tunay na kaligtasan. Maring hindi mo pa na experience ang kaganapan ng pagiging born again. Maring hindi ka pa na ipanganak uli sa spirito. Yes, you are born in the flesh. But are you born of the Spirit? Are you born of God? Are you born from above? Mga kapatid, kung hindi ka doon ipinanganak, hindi ka makakapasok. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on His name. Believe on what He has done on the cross. He died. He was buried. And He rose again on the third day. Alang-alang sa atin. Alang-alang sa iyo. You must be born again. You must be born again. You must be born again. Kaibigan, anong pala tayo? Panginoon namin Diyos, Ama namin makapangirihan sa lahat, salamat po Panginoon that you have given us the true meaning and enlightenment of, for the word born again. For John chapter 3, Lord, we thank you, O God. And we thank you for the salvation you have given us. Thank you for the new birth. Thank you for this event, Lord. For that event, Lord, na kanya-kanya kaming nakaranas ng kaligtasan. And on that moment, we're saved we know for sure that we have been born by the Spirit of God. We, are, we have been born of the Spirit. At ngayon, Panginoon, ang aming mga spirito, ang aming connection sa iyo ay buhay. Nagkaroon na kami ng relasyon ngayon sa iyo. Kaya salamat, Panginoon. But Lord, we also want to pray for those people na nakikinig ngayon. Maybe they're not yet saved, Lord. Pero naunawaan nila itong mensahe na ito. Lord, through this message, save them, O God. Give them the enlightenment. Give them repentance, Lord. Give them faith sa Panginoong Sokristo. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ito po ay aming sama-samang dalang sa pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Amen.